Legends, the thing everyone has been waiting for, an update, a message, a sign of life, I guess you could say. I'll tell you exactly what's going on right now. Now, it's been a number of weeks since we went to Swedefest, and I've kind of had a chance to chill out a little bit more. So in today's video, we're literally gonna be talking about legends, what's happening with all of our lorries over the course of the winter, all the improvements we're gonna make, and some ideas, as well as some updates on CWD Logistics and an event I wanna host later on in the year. As it stands at the moment, Dad is on about having the air kit taken off the Volvo because basically my Scania doesn't fit in the shed. So at the minute, it's living outside. If you are in the Essex area and you have a shed for my Scania that it can sleep in for a little while while we mess about with this shed and the Volvo, please let me know or DM me. I will pay rent. I don't want it to get cold and wet in the winter. Bless her. Anyway, so currently, Dad's toying with the idea about getting the Volvo repainted, having a ball bar put on the front, and doing a few other bits to it as well. I've mentioned this a number of times across multiple videos. And basically, we've got some ball bars for the lorry. And having one of these ball bars, if not another ball bar from another company, being put on the front of the Volvo. Personally, I don't think with the toolboxes taking the air kit off will look right. Maybe putting like a version two or three kit on it might look a bit better. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think my dad should do with this Volvo. And we'll have a look and see. Also, let me know, are we going ball bar or no ball bar? I want to hear your guys' opinions. And here we come to my Scania. So a lot of you guys would have seen this truck at Swedefest. The reception we got at Swedefest, can I just say, out of this world. For me to meet so many of you guys and have so many photos and sign so many things and just talk to you, wow. That's all I'm going to say is just wow. Thank you everyone for coming and seeing us and coming and saying hi. Honestly, I could never have imagined that the journey that YouTube has taken us on at the minute and the fact that so many of you guys kind of know who I am is a bit weird, but it's amazing and I'm so grateful for that. Let's talk about what we're going to do to Legacy. So kicking things off, we basically had the whole truck sign written. And while it looks all right, I did say in that video, this was not finished. But down here, we have V8 on the side here and the stripe going across the front. Now, I like the front stripe on this truck. I think that looks all right. The V8, I think, needs to move to the step, and I think this line here needs to come all the way around. And if we can get to that to come all the way around, that would look a lot better. Diamonds, I'm gonna keep. I like the diamonds. Our stripe that runs up the side, down and across, I don't actually dislike it. But I think I might adjust it so it matches the rest of the livery. Because at the minute, we've got silver, black, and black. But I might do it either black or silver. Again, we can always change the decals and the, everything else. But I was going to go with a black and red theme on this truck. I think black and red would look really cool. I don't really want to go white and red because I don't want to go white and red. And the other thing that needs looking at on this truck as well is if you guys can see up there, it's actually starting to come away already. Now, I paid a lot of money to a local firm to have this printed, and Zoe very kindly came out last minute and fitted it for me because the guys couldn't fit it, and I'm really just not happy with it. Things like this where it comes in in the middle. A few of you guys pointed this out at Swedefest. It's all got to go back. It's all got to be redesigned, and it's all got to be done again. Now, that's okay. That's not all bad because if we're going to redesign it and go again, we can change the design. And I do think we need to change this up a little bit. So rather than have it come down to the bottom here and work its way back up, I might do a bigger stripe from the bottom all the way underneath and have that come down there with a, with a V8 in there. Or maybe I might etch in the red super in there and then have it come all the way to the door or even super V8. Oh, we could do super V8 because she is a super V8. I'm gonna try and have something coming across the door. So maybe like across here, like a big kind of Dutch zigzaggy thingy. I mean, can we just appreciate the beading on this truck for a second? Very clean, very nice. Now, this is controversial. 
I'm kind of thinking, and again, you guys are probably going to at me in the comments below for this, about removing the airbrushing and having plain side skirts. I'm trying, I'm desperately trying to get in touch with a fabricator that's going to make me a set of toolboxes to go right the way down side with a full Dutch style catwalk. So the entire catwalk, everything else, will be completely covered with checker plate from the wings all the way back with a brand new A-frame as well. Obviously it's money is one thing and finding the contacts for this is kind of the other thing. It's they're really hard to find people for this kind of stuff. One other thing I'm thinking about doing on this truck as well is at the minute we've got the shiny wheels, which are great, but I'm kind of thinking about putting painted steels on it with the candy strip in there that says super. I'm not entirely sure about that yet. I'm still thinking, but I do think that look might look quite cool. And unfortunately, with it being an old truck, it's starting to get blemishes. So you guys can kind of see in there, we've got the dreaded R word coming out. And she's going to have rust because obviously she's getting on a bit. And we've got little things on the back of the cab here like that needs doing as well. To make this into a proper show truck and something that like, to bring it to that next level because at the minute it's like tidy but it needs to be like banging we need to obviously fix what's going on there and get it under cover because all the water that's sitting in there is just going to cause that to rot even more it's just it's no good again if you have a shed and you're based in the essex area please let me know <laughs> i really kind of need to put her away for the winter should we get out of the cold let's get out of the cold and let's jump in and i'll tell you what we're going to do on the inside. One, two, three steps to heaven. Nice and toasty inside my V8 with the custom interior. I still can't believe Rusty did this custom interior. It's still not done. We've still got a lot more to do and I'll, I'll tell you that in a minute, but I am I love it so much. Get these seats right because the seats aren't quite right at the moment. So as you guys can kind of see here, We've got gaps in there and in there, and that just falls down. That is like nowhere near big enough for that space. That's definitely the headrest for that. And that one does the same thing. So Rusty is gonna make us like a proper seated bit that goes in here that doesn't wiggle or move or anything like that. I like the cushions, they're not bad, but they're just not quite right, if that makes sense. Another thing we've got to have done on the inside of this truck is get the amps looked at because at the minute, that one's crackling and not working properly. The other one works and the sound system's pretty good in here, but I think we could upgrade it like once more, which would be really, really cool. And the next thing we need to upgrade it as well is this red kind of velvety stuff. I mean, it looks good in the, in the cab, but as you can see here, there's like a lot of, I mean, look, there's a lot of play in that. I didn't even get my hand behind the lockers there. And uh, especially up here, it really kind of, I forget how cozy it actually looks up here. It's really nice. But yeah, it kind of sags down, which isn't great. Like when this truck was done like 10 years ago, I bet it was fine. I bet it looked mint, but we're 10 years down the line now. Like everything with this truck, it's going to age really quickly if we don't sort it. So that is another thing that needs to do. And I'm thinking of going like a dark gray Alcantara, maybe something like that in there and i'll get rusty to do that as well what do you guys think what color should we have it in here the rest of the truck is red and black with a little bit of white in there i'm not going white because it will just get wrecked black i think will be too dark it will look way too dark it will look nice because the red will backlight off it but i'm thinking maybe like yeah, maybe like a grey or something like that, possibly. And of course, the seats. So while I like these seats, they're seat covers. So obviously you guys can see there, they're seat covers. I want Rusty to upholster me a set of seats with obviously geared up garage in the headstock as well, in the headstock, in the headrest. So that would look really, really cool. Armrest for the passenger, but not for the driver. Why? I know it's a manual, so you'll be driving all the time, but... I still want an armrest when I'm in sixth gear most of the time. So, and probably the most expensive part of this build. I mean, there's two really expensive parts. One is of which is really going to divide the audience because you're going to have the old school guys that are like, no. And you're going to have the new school guys that are like, hells yeah. Okay. First things first, my wheel. So 
This is out of RJV's 164 Scania, which we found out at Gaydon Retro Truck Show. Link to that video up there. I like a 4 Series wheel. It's a nice steering wheel. However, I think you guys already know where I want to go with this. And that is that I can't be a proper Scania driver unless I have a three-spoke wheel. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, yeah, Tang wheel. And some of you guys are going to be like, Jay, what are you doing to that truck? And it's going to be like, well, I kind of want a Tang wheel. It's my truck. I've always wanted a proper V8 Scania experience. And I really do feel like a Tang wheel is kind of appropriate. So I want a Tang wheel, but they're like, they're like a good grand, 1500 quid. So we'll get everything else done before we worry about that. And the last thing are these just standard basic lockers. I want a proper set of Scania classic lockers. So like the proper big ones, when we were at Swedefest, we saw a four series and he said he could get up into the bed because I was concerned that if we have the lockers out to like there, it's not going to give me a lot of room to get up into the bed, but apparently it can be done and it's all right. So I really do want a proper set of lockers kind of like coming out here. And then I want like a fridge in one of them and a, a telly as well as the other thing I want. I'll pull this out and replace it for a TV. So then we can watch TV in the lorry as well when it's like pissing it down at shows or whatever. We've got, we can watch some geared up garage on the telly because what else would you want to watch, right? So that leaves us with two subjects, legends and CWD logistics. So it's time for an update on everyone's favorite freight forwarding company. Here at CWD have been so, so busy trying to grow and basically do as much for the industry as we possibly can. I've been super busy on RHA duties as well with the incoming National Lorry Week coming up. Look out for plenty of content for that. It's been fantastic being a part of that and helping organize everything to do with the National Lorry Week. CWD, I've got big plans for in 2025 and I'm hoping that this time next year I can look back on this video and be like, well, we smashed it. We did everything we said we were gonna do. So I really want two new members of staff, another lorry and an office and a bigger warehouse because we're kind of outgrowing this one already. Um, it's been amazing for us. Obviously, every business when it grows has its own struggles and cash flow is gonna be one of ours. And obviously recruitment as well is, is gonna be key to making sure that this goes on and be successful. And the nice thing with this as well is that the more CWD grows, the more money and time we have to pump into things like lorry projects. So my, my big plan going forward is kind of to grow CWD and then some of the vehicles we use for CWD's work will then obviously become channel projects. And I'm trying to make it so if we can get some young drivers in or some drivers that are in, happy in front of a camera, we can then launch the CWD YouTube channel properly. And like you'll see me going out in the lorries, a couple of the other guys going out in lorries and like the general growth of the company and then Geared Up Garage being like a hobby thing on the side. Kind of where I'm thinking of going with that, I'm not entirely sure yet. Maybe I'll probably just amalgamate CWD into Geared Up Garage or either or either. Let me know if you guys wanna see more CWD content as well. I don't film that much of it because it's not as lorry based as like the content you, I think you guys wanna see, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's just a quick overview on CWD, what's going down here. We're looking to grow. We're really trying to push forward. And hopefully, fingers crossed this time next year, we can look back on this and go, we got TCAB. <laughs> that would be the dream, wouldn't it? That would be completely the dream. Legends, the thing everyone has been waiting for, an update, a message, a sign of life, I guess you could say. I'll tell you exactly what's going on right now. So... As it stands, Legends is still under construction. However, work has begun again on Legends. And what we've decided we're going to do between me and AFP is that we're going to work on it behind the scenes and then just do a reveal video, pretty much. So the way that's going to work is that we won't release any content, anything on Legends. And then all of a sudden, we'll just release everything in one final video. And then after that, the lorry will be handed over to AFP. And if they want to put it on their YouTube channel or whatever they want to do, that's going to be down to AFP. So currently, Legends has the interior being fitted to it. And the plastics are very nearly done from paint. 
So we don't know when we're going to see Legends again. But when we do see Legends again, I've just noted something else on the lorry that needs doing as well. That needs detinting or retinting because it's got a tint on it and then that bit's cut out. That's annoying. Anyway, when we do see Legends again, it will be done and it will be final. And then AFP will visit it from time to time, but then AFP will take everything over. That's pretty much the plan with that truck. So hold on tight. Stuff is going to come. We are going to get this truck done. It's just taking a long time for us to get everything together and get everything done. I know some of you guys are upset that it's taken so long, but you can't rush perfection. And I've seen what AFP are doing with it. And I've seen the interior going back in. And I can just say it looks very nice. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much all of the updates I've got for you for now. When I get something else in, I will let you know. We are thinking about doing an event up in Thurrock and Grace for Christmas, where we're going to bring up some t-shirts, some mugs, some stickers. And we want you guys to literally come and say hi and get a photo in front of the truck and get yourself all of this Christmas stuff for completely free. That's pretty much the plan for this, is to just give away some merchandise, spread some Christmas cheer, and meet you guys again just before Christmas season starts. So if that's something you guys wanna come to, please let me know in the comments below so I can get a rough idea of like numbers and, and all the rest of it, because if 30 people turn up, that's great, but I need to order like 30, 60, or however many mugs and t-shirts and God knows what else I'm gonna do. So let me know, that'd be really awesome as well. We're gonna start bringing up Geared Up Garage rates again in the build up to Christmas. I want the big showdown to be around Christmas time. And then we're gonna give away loads of goodies and things like that to you guys around Christmas. So please stay tuned with us. We'll update you on what's happening with the Volvo with the Scania and Legends will be back at some point. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, you like, and you leave that all important comment and share it with your friends as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.